What's up, everybody? It's Roger and James here, founder of this Kingdom podcast. And on this episode, we are going to be talking about the brand new series, um, is it New Warriors and the Squirrel Girl? To be honest, don't really know too much about these ones. These are kind of a different character. I've seen Squirrel Girl popping up in like Lego Avengers and um, the Pinball game. Funny thing, you know, I said to my wife last night, oh, we're going to be talking about Squirrel Girl. She thought I was joking. She was like, Marvel have hit a new low. She was like, what rubbish is that? It really, Squirrel Girl. That was kind of her reaction to this. It was very much along the lines of, what is this? And so now you can explain to me, what is Squirrel Girl? Yeah, and your wife's reaction is <laughs> going to be the uh, the common reaction, I suspect. It was the reaction that comics fans had back in the 90s when she was first introduced. And then disappeared. She was created in the 90s uh, by Steve Ditko, who actually was one of the two guys who helped create Spider-Man. Yeah. And she appeared in one episode or one issue. She beat up Doctor Doom with an army of squirrels, and then was forgotten about until the 2000s when she finally came back. Um, the thing about Squirrel Girl is she is absolutely ridiculous character, but she embraces that ridiculousness, and the character, the the writers embrace that ridiculousness, and she has become like this peppy, like happy superhero and you you're sitting there going this shouldn't work at all and yet her book is amazing yeah uh and she has become a very important character at marvel she's gotten past her meme status and now she is a legitimate marvel character and they're pushing her pretty hard she was in the ultimate spider-man tv show she was in lego marvel avengers uh she has a prose book, uh, a novel, actually came out earlier this year. Uh, you know, it's for young adults or, or yeah. even, like, awesome. middle school <laughs> readers. But uh, but the fact is they're, they're pushing her as a character, and she's a girl power character, but without kind of shoving that down your throat yeah. the way some of the other characters do. And, yeah, it it's one of those things. She should not work as a character. You, your reaction should be, ha-ha, squirrel girl, okay, what are you really doing? And they're like, no, 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 we're, we're, we're really doing Squirrel Girl. And uh, I just hope people do give her a chance um, and don't just dismiss her because that is her superpower, to be yeah. dismissed and then she kicks your butt. Yeah. So this new TV show, New Warriors, that's, what is the, kind of the gist of the New Warriors? So the New Warriors in the 90s, we don't know what version we're getting here, were kids who basically were rejected from the Avengers because they were kids. Yeah. Um, they were built up. They were kind of street level heroes with a couple of extra super powered people. Uh, Firestar from uh, Spider Man and his Amazing Friends was one of the characters. Yeah. Uh, Nova, who was another Ultimate Spider Man uh, cast member, Speedball was in there. And then, interestingly enough, the main character, and he's gotten a ton of flack for this over the years, was Night Thrasher, who battled villains on his skateboard which also had like weapons built into it and stuff he was also like a a, a martial arts master who's kind of a batman style character a lot of money but right. he yeah. he had his skateboard were these, we'll were these the group that um were the cause of the civil war and one of them blew up a school Right. Uh, the team name is the same. A lot of the I, members weren't the same. Right. Uh, I, see, I suddenly had this. I suddenly had this. Like, I remember reading some comic book stories, and there was these group of young kids, and they blew up a school, and that started the whole Civil War storyline. So yeah. Right. So, so in, as, as a comic book thing, I remember from a comic book that I read. <laughs> yep, uh, I am impressed. So in the early two thousands, they rebranded the New Warriors. Uh, they made them a reality show, like within the Marvel universe, yeah. where these kids would go around and they'd beat up super villains and they'd film it and they'd get views on whatever the YouTube equivalent was. Yeah. And then they were on one of these missions, and a villain named Nuke. Um, blew up a, a small town, killed like 500-something people, and that was the start of the original uh, Marvel Civil War. Uh, what's interesting here, to go kind of back to the original part of the story, Squirrel Girl has never been a member of this team, not in the comic books. Yeah. So it's interesting that they're attaching her to this uh, property. That mm. I figured, you know, they know the new warriors by themselves aren't going to be enough of a draw, but Squirrel Girl might yeah. actually, if only for that reaction of, all right, yeah. All right. What is going on with this nonsense? I kind of have to see the ridiculousness of this. So, what channel is this going to be on in the US? Uh, I think it's going to be on Freeform, which 
I actually I have no idea. It's one of the Disney channels, yeah, obviously. Yeah, it was one of the rebranded ones. It's kind of um, I think Cloak and Dagger is going to be on there as well. That's to the best of my knowledge is also correct. And the Cloak and Daggers also have very close connections to the New Warriors. I think they might have been New Warriors at least yeah. for a little while as well. So yeah. that makes sense to have them both on the same network. And it gets them split away from the Runaways, who will be on Hulu, who actually have a very similar concept to the New Warriors. Mm, so. Have they said how many episodes this is going to be? No, we don't know anything. We know it'll be out in 2018. We know it'll have Squirrel Girl. We know who... Oh, sorry. They they did say it's 10 episodes. Okay. 10 episodes is I'm how glad, long it'll be. I'm, I'm kind of glad at that, because I'm feeling like these shorter seasons um, are probably going to be for the best, because there's too many of them. Um... Obviously, Inhumans, I think, is only going to be eight episodes. Right. I'm going to be honest. I know Legion is only eight episodes. I've got I got to episode four, and me and my wife actually just turned to each other. We she started up an episode, and I looked to, after about fifteen minutes. We looked at each other. And I'm like, what do we do? And it's like we've just jumped six episodes. We just jumped three episodes forward. We pressed the wrong episode, and like, and we just literally looked at each other. I haven't got a clue what's going on, and we deleted it. We literally <laughs> just went. I, I'm out. Um, I've got Shield backed up. It just feels like, and I am worried about them just over-saturating this market. Oh, the, the market is absolutely reaching a saturation point. I think, you know, comics fans will continue to eat up the media. People who've, yeah. who've like, I'm going to watch New Warriors. Uh, it doesn't need to have Squirrel Girl in it, but I'll watch it anyway. I think, you know, the market for New Warriors is going to be very different. I think it's going to probably go for a younger audience. Maybe, like, uh older teenagers rather than say like an adult market or people who grew up with new warriors with the number of movies that are coming out with the number of tv shows we're definitely at this point where people are gonna be like all right i was watching all of them yeah but now i don't have to watch this one and if i'm not watching this one i means i'm not watching all of them which means i can also drop legends of tomorrow and arrow i'll stick with flash and you know, yeah. I'll keep Agents of Shield, but it's probably going to get cancelled, so that's not really that much of a, a deal yeah, or whatever. I, I must so. be honest, I've, my Sky Plus planner is packed with Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Flash, and it's Shield episodes at the minute. My wife she goes, are you going to watch them? I'm playing Zelda. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's the other thing. <laughs> it's just like, um, yeah, I as much as I like, it's like, okay, it's like, but... You know, I mean, I do have really enjoyed the Netflix series of all of them that have come through, and I have, I ploughed through Iron Fist, really enjoyed it. As, as much it was that thing of enjoyed it, so I'm interested to see what they do it um, with these. Um, but yeah, Squirrel Girl, New Warriors. I like the fact that it's a short series. I'm liking the fact that they're doing that with um, Inhumans as well. I think doing the Netflix route of shorter, and I think even going slightly shorter again will be even better because when they can cut out that middle bit where it always has to kind of like hit the reset button because we've kind of, the story runs out after six to eight episodes, the villain normally has to have had to be confronted. You know, Flash and Arrow always had that same thing as well. Of They used to hit like the mid-season finale and hit a reset and it almost was a new season after that. And yeah, so I'm kind of glad that there's only 10 episodes. I, I will give it a go when it comes out. But like Legion, I dumped it after it about halfway through because it's like, I don't know. But Legion I, was a bit different. Legion was very different. I only made it through a couple episodes of that before I had to drop it. But a lot of people enjoyed it, so it's coming back for a second season. I will check out the X-Men TV show when that comes out. <laughs> um, one of the big things for this one is, again, Squirrel Girl. It's going to depend entirely on who they cast this character yeah. as. Because Squirrel Girl is a very... Uh, borderline character and if you cast the wrong person for her she's going to be annoying and yeah. obnoxious and nobody's going to want to watch her but if you get someone with the right mixture of enthusiasm and glee without being that peppy character that you just want to punch in the yeah. face and just be like this is no if they can find someone who can straddle that line it will yeah. be great and if they can't it is going to be like fingernails on chalkboard yeah it, so we'll see what they do with that. We'll see who the other new warriors are going to be. Mm. But kind of have a feel as well, like Cloak and Dagger could have might have been a better suit to merge the two together and do one. Ep I kind of have a feel like Marvel are like, right, okay, this is running. We're going to use every comic book character we can get because we Squirrel Girl wouldn't work at the cinema, but it will work on television and we'll make money from it. It and just it this just goes too much. And she wouldn't work in Netflix, not with the grim and gritty style, because yeah. you can't. 
they tried. They had her they had her in the Avengers for a while mm-hmm. in the comic book series and they hinted that she had a past relationship with Wolverine. Mind you, she's like 18. Yeah. And and you're just sitting there going like, "Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to make Squirrel Girl grim and gritty and yeah. mature and it's like this is awful." Yeah. And then, and they've kind of brushed that one under the the rug, yeah. but you, she wouldn't work on Netflix no. because with the style that they've got on Netflix, you just be like, she's just clawing people's eyes out because she has claws. She's yeah. got razor razor sharp finger claws, and just like, yeah, but that's not the character that the people in the comics are reading yeah. about. So I mean, this will yeah. be this is the way to do it. I think. I think as well, like Netflix. I mean, to be honest, they could. You know, I don't know what they're going to do with these free form episodes, whether or not what like network they'll arrive, especially out over here for me. You know, but I could easily see this. You know, if it turned up on Netflix now, you know, Netflix is now just becoming a, a, a television network where you can have anything. You know, we do get. I think like, um, Riverdale is another is a comic book TV show that I watch, which we have every week. That goes on Netflix rather than um, see. We don't have the CW network, so it's on. It's a Netflix show to me. You know, we have this kind of thing. Sometimes they jump different seasons and have different things, but. Now, that's a comic book series that has got absolutely nothing like any other Marvel one, and I'm actually keep watching it. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's a comic series. It's based on the Archie universe, yeah. but, man, that is the most messed up version of the Archie universe I've ever seen. That's... Yeah. Uh, this is freaking 90210 Melrose Place stuff going yeah, on here. Like, like that, <laughs> I thought I thought Archie was supposed to be like wholesome, and I like, know. Yeah. <laughs> Having someone that never read the Archie comic books is like for me. I'm just like, yeah, it's good. I'm enjoying it. It got that 90210 feel. My wife didn't even. I didn't even tell her it was a comic book series for about eight episodes in. I said, "Well, it's a comic book." And she goes, "What?" It's like, oh, yeah, you, you, I got away." <laughs> It's not because if I said that before we got in there, you would have gone in there expecting superheroes. I didn't mention that it was a comic book series. No, I mean that's Archie, and I grew up with like with Archie as a, a very wholesome experience, and Riverdale is not. But yeah. it's still it's actually a really good series. No. So uh, I'm glad they 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 went that direction yeah. with it. Well, on that note, guys, let us know what you guys think of the new Squirrel Girl and new. Um, new warriors um, tv show as per usual you can find us on um social media you can also find and follow us on the audio versions and the video version here on youtube and finally you can also check out um james where can they find you uh you can find me on my webpage heroiclegacy.com where i talk about all sorts of comic stuff and not just the new warriors or squirrel girl no not just you know a squirrel girl fan page <laughs> that you know of because you've never actually visited the site have you yes i do <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. On that note, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see.